Well, howdy everybody. We are at the, what do I call it now? The South Lease Block. Um, so this is where the linseed is, but we are just doing a little bit of work to Tiny One here. Um, I got the call yesterday that the oil pressure light was on um, and I think Phil's had trouble with that before and it was wiring in behind the dash. Um, so we will double check that. Um, I think Phil did a dodgy repair. And it, uh, yeah, whether that came off or some more rats or mice got in here and, and just had a bit of fun, as you do. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look. I've got to spray this linseed again. I sprayed it about, uh, probably, when was it? probably five days ago and um, yeah just we did a grass spray on the linseed but uh, yeah we're going through now and doing a broadleaf spray before we get too carried away there's there's a wire that there's a chewed wire an earth wire ah jolly mice or rats or whatever is doing this That definitely would appear to be related, that one. I would say... Where has that come from? Well guys, um, I got buried in here without picking up the camera, so apologies, but what we found is that in there... Oh, I can't even see where I'm pointing the camera, but that wire there goes down through the hole there, down here, and down here. And the rats or mice, whatever, decided to pull that one all the way through. So there's the end of it there. So what I've done is I've just got a um, draw wire. I just poke that down there. I'm going to tape it to that. Pull this one back up and join it up. And hopefully that'll be all we need to do. Um, there is a couple other exposed wires I'll probably tape up as well. Just, yeah, it's not, not great. But um, they get in everywhere. Right, oh, well, we got that wire up, um, soldered it all in, and we're just ready to test it. So it is flashing there now. We'll just fire it up and hope it goes out. fixed um might leave it running to warm up and we'll put it all back together and i'll get spraying so phil is going to be down here soon and yeah he's going to help actually the the guy who owns this property that is being leased is a cousin and he's actually going to do a little bit on it um waiting for phil and um, yeah, Phil's gonna help set up the GPS and all that stuff. It was only like a video or two ago that I did all the spraying here, so um, I don't think I need to do that again. It's the same thing, but what I might do is just throughout the day, I might update um, if I find anything interesting. <laughs> Folks, it's 
still here and we're back on the horse or the horses as you might say 800 of them but yeah it's uh we're just doing a bit of a shed pad for our cousin as you can see there's a bit of a crest there in the hill and we've carved out about a meter out of this side i've put all the um soil over over there so we're sort of making a nice flat pad here for some gravel and uh, yeah so sort of working on having the shed roughly about here and then I'm just making a bit of a drain out on the back of the shed to go down down the hill there just so water doesn't sit at the back and also the same with the front of the shed so yeah we just I'm just sort of doing the finishing touches now I've got it roughly where I want it I'm just working with the trying to work with some loose material but it's a bit tricky when you come over here you can see these rocks coming up so I don't really want to cut anymore I just want to sort of fill the holes with some loose dirt and try and get it so it is roughly level and I think we'll just do the final touches with the gravel once the gravel's on. I sort of did the bulk of the work yesterday and then come back, let it dry down because it was just sheeting off and uh, couldn't get it to flow real well. So um, it always works better if you come back the next day or a couple of days later and just do the final touches with some loose dry dirt. So that's the plan. Anyway, I might try and put the GoPro on the side of the blade there. It's not, I'm not pushing much material, but you might get the uh, sound of the V8 and just see sort of the final trimming that I'm trying to do.
this is in the other video I did this is where I went out to have a look and I showed a bit of where the ryegrass was growing in the row with the linseed um, because of the pre-emergent spray we put down um, the residual activity of that stops the ryegrass from growing or grasses from growing in the middle of the rows um, oh yeah here we go so you can see there well maybe you can't but I can it's all gone curly they've all curled around and they're a bit of a lighter tinge of um, green they're sort of going yellow so and they're starting to curl at the ends so yeah no it's definitely looks like looks like she's on its way out you can see there it's all curly and sick looking so that'll be good some uh, yeah some chemicals it can take like two weeks to um, to kill them so but yeah I'm glad they're looking sick so this spray hopefully we can target um, I was gonna hopefully I'm not in a very good spot where there's bad broadleafs but yeah there's one there well, I'm about, uh, well, not quite halfway through the last load of the day. I'm really hoping I can get this done. Um, yeah, nothing to report. Looks about the same as last time. Um, yeah, so, looks like, yeah, most of the, that grass, those grass weeds are slowly shriveling up and, and dying, which is great. Um, but yeah, nothing to report, unfortunately. Hopefully I can uh, get that all done before it gets dark. Right, well we got everything flushed away, um, no that's not right, not flushed away, got everything flushed out and um, then I've just got to take this, well I've, I've actually borrowed the um, tripod and the solar panel and battery from the um, dozer GPS system, that's what we usually carry around together with that. <coughs> so I'll uh, drop the battery, solar panel and tripod off at the dozer there. Um, and then um, yeah, I'll just take the base station and keep it safe for next time. We'll probably there'll probably be another spray to do in a month or so here. 